session today, the math session. Fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, before we start, I want everyone to mute the mics. Mute your, okay. mute your mic, please. Thank you, Ahmed. Okay, guys. Uh, today's lesson is place value relationships. As we know, we have routine. So the first step that we should do is we have to know what we are going to learn. Let's see. Today we will learn how to solve questions like these. Name the value of the given digits in each number. For example, in the first one, the question is asking about the values of the twos this two and this two was the value of the first two and what is the value of the second two the same for for all questions so today you are going to speak about the place value and the value and what's the relation between the place values the relationships between uh, the place value okay let's start page 12 get your book and open your book page 12 quickly guys and please be ready with all your tools our <laughs> Okay. Now, leave everything, leave everything and focus with the video because this video will explain to you the main idea. How are the digits in a multi-digit number related to each other? Kiana collected 1,100 bottle caps. What is Mister, the relationship between the values of the digit 1 in each place? Okay. Peace. I think now you're, you, you can hear everything, but I will start from the beginning again. How are the digits in a multi-digit number related to each other? Kiana collected 1,100 bottle caps. What is the relationship between the values of the digit 1 in each place? A place value chart can help you examine the relationships between digits in a number. Which place is each one in? The first one is in the thousands place. Its value is 1000. The second one is in the hundreds place. Its value is 100. How is 1000 related to 100? One thousand is ten times as much as one hundred. The one in the thousands place is ten times as great as the one in the hundreds place. When two digits next to each other in a number are the same, the value of the digit on the left is always ten times as great as the digit on the right. 
Now you know how the digits in a multi-digit number are related to each other. Okay guys, now we know the relationship between 1 in the thousand and 1 in the hundreds. So, who can tell me what is the relation? What is the relation between 1000 and 100? Okay, Ahmad Ali. Ahmed? Yes. Yes, Ahmed. Now you, are, you have watched the video and I think you can tell me what is the relation. How much is 1 in the thousand? How much times as 1 in the hundreds? 10. 10 times. Excellent, Ahmed. Thank you. So guys, now we know that 1000 is 10 times 1 in hundreds. Okay, so this is the relationship between these two. Now, we have this question in the same page, page 12. Is the value of the first four 10 times as greater as the value of the second four? In this number, 4,043. The answer should be yes or no. And we have here to explain. And there's uh, another thing we should read. What can you generalize about the value of digits that are two places apart in a number? Like this one, we have two places apart. They are not next to each other. Not like the previous number. In the previous one, it was one in the thousand and one in hundreds. Okay, let's start answering. The first thing is the value of the first four, 10 times as the value of the second four. For this, I want Ab Abdul Rahman Anwar to help me. Abdul Rahman Abdul Rahman Yes, Mr. Yes, Abdul Rahman. I want you to help me. We are going to think together. Okay. Can you see this number? Okay. okay. 4043. Okay. Yes. The, the, yes. Uh, the red and the green fours. Is the red four? Four, is the red 4 10 times the green 4? Yes or no? Mm, no, yes. Yes, so if we multiply the, the, the green 1 by 10, we will get the same value as the, the red 1, right? Right, right. Okay, I think there is someone with another. Uh, Yusuf, I can see you. Do you have another idea? Do you have another opinion? Yusuf Abdul Baqi. Master. Yes, Yusuf. Uh, Yusuf, I can't find your name. So tell me your full name. Yusuf Abdul Baqi, Muhammad Abdul Qadir. Okay, Yusuf. Do you agree with your friend that the the red four is ten times the green four? No. No. What do you think? How many how many times is it greater than the, the green one? Um. Oh. 
Okay, let's take another one to help me with this. Thank you. So now one one of you said yes and the other said no. Let's see Sister, another I know, one. I know. Who is using the mic? You are not allowed Mr. to use the mic. You are not Mr. allowed. I, know. I told you. No, I'm not I going to use... pick you. I am Yusuf, Mister. Uh, okay, Yusuf. Okay, yes. Go ahead. It's uh, greater than uh, the red one by forty. By forty. Yes. Uh, so if we multiply it, the green four by forty. It will be 4,000? Mm. I don't no. think. Because the green one, what's the value of the green one? It's in the tens. So it, the value should be 40. Right? Yes. And what about the red one? It will be 4,000. So if we multiply 40, by what we get 4,000? How many zeros more? Mm. Between 40 and 4,000? By uh, one zero. Only but one zero? No. But, but, uh, it's two zeros, okay? Thank you, Yusuf. You can your mic, mute your mic again. So the answer should be no. No, this no is four. The question is the value of the first oh, four. Mr. Roy. Who's speaking? Is the four, uh, is the value of the first four 10 times as greater as the value of the second four? So the answer is no. And what about the second part? Explain. So we can explain this by the first four has a value of 4,000 and the second four has the value of 40. So it's not 10 times, it's 100 times because we have two more zeros. And what about the, the third part? What can you generalize about the value of digits that are two places apart in a number so when they are not next to each other no they are two places apart in this case when two digits are the same but not next to each other their values are related by multiples of 10 what are multiples of 10 the, the multiples of 10 are 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 100,000, and so on. Okay, guys. So, Mr. Wright, on this. Yes, because in this question we have three parts. Okay. Okay, guys, you have okay. one minute to finish. Be quick, please. I'm waiting. Teacher, I just joined. Finish. Can you finish? Teacher. Please don't use Teacher, your mic. Teacher, I just joined. Teacher, I just joined. I don't understand you. Okay. I just Okay, you can Please. watch the video later, did. but now I will tell you what we are got, we are talking about. And guys, the, you are not allowed to use your mic. Please mute your mics. Everyone. Need your mics. There is someone. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, someone asked me to repeat what we were talking about. Today we are talking about the place value and the value and the place value relationships. So, in this question we have two fours in the same number okay I will get this larger so you can see with me the number 4043 and I asked your friends what is the, the relation between the 
blue, uh, sorry, the green four and the red four. And we generalize this, we, we give the answer that the green, uh, the blue four, uh, sorry, the red four is not 10 times the green one, it's 100 times. Because the first one, which is the red four, it, its value is 4,000. And the green one, its value is 40. So, the blue one, the red one, the red four, is 100 times the green one. Because we have here three zeros and here one zero. So, this is 100 times 40 to get 4,000. Okay. And we generalize this the, uh, by this uh, answer. When two digits are the same, but not e next to each other, like these two fours, then their values are related by multiples of 10. So, multiples of 10, that means one of them should be 10 times the other, or 100 times the other, or 1,000 times the other, and so on. These are the multiples of 10. 10, 100, 1,000. How we can tell uh, which one is the correct one according to the number of zeros that we can see. We can see here three zeros, and here one zero only. So we have two more zeros, which gives us 100 times of 40 to get 4,000. Okay, guys, let's move to the next page. Page 13. As you can see here with me, we have this chart. You know the place value. Please mute your mic. Please mute your mic. I can't speak while you are speaking. And uh, you had enough time to write. Please don't use your mic again without permission. And of course you, you can uh, see this later on the video. And I will share it also with you on WhatsApp. Okay? If you miss them, something, you will get it from uh, the video or from WhatsApp, okay? So, we can see this number, okay? It's 990000. So, who can read this number? I want Ali Al-Qattan. Ali Muhammad Al-Qattan, not here. There is another one called Ali Muhammad. Ali Muhammad Saleh. Ali Muhammad Saleh, not here also. Okay, Laith Al Hajji, Laith. Yes. Okay, Laith, can you read this number? Uh, nine zero 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 zero. Nine zero 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 zero. Okay. Look with me, no. this red uh, one is 100,000, so it's no. not 99, it's 900, huh, continue, no. yes, 990,000, yes. excellent, so it's 990,000, thank you, Laith, okay, guys, we have here two nines, we need to know, what's the value of the red one, the value of the red one is, 900,000 because it's in the hundred thousands as you know from yesterday hundred thousands the word hundred is worth two zeros and the word thousand worth three zeros so we have two zeros and three zeros the total is five zeros this is a hundred thousand nine hundred thousand okay what about the second one it's Ten thousands. Ten thousands mean ten worth one zero and thousand worth three zeros, so the total is four zeros. This is ninety thousand. So the first nine 
900,000. The second is 90,000. Now, what's the relationship? The value of the first nine is 10 times as greater as the value of the second one. Can you see here with me? Five zeros and here four zeros. How many zeros more? It's only one zero. And one zero means 10. So if we have one zero, it's 10, two zeros, 100, three zeros, 1,000, and so on. Okay, guys? In the same page, we have this guided practice, and we will solve question number three. And question number four, at first, let's read the question. Name the values of the given digits in each number. What is the relationship between the values of the given digits? Okay, let's start with number three. Here in number three, I want Abdelaziz Meher. Abdelaziz. Abdelaziz. Ibrahim Zamami. <coughs> Ibrahim. Hello? Yes, this is Ibrahim Zamami, right? Yes, yes. Okay, Ibrahim. Can you see here the sevens in this number? At first, read the number. Yeah. Read this number. Uh, yes, one. Excellent. No, not 70. Seven thousand and seven hundred. So let's see the first seven and the second seven. What's the value of the first one? Seven. Seven and thousand. So it will be seven thousand. How many zeros in yes. seven thousand? Two. No, we know that the word thousand means three zeros. Means three zeros. Yes. So seven thousand has three zeros. What about uh, this yes. one? It's 700. So it has how many zeros? It has uh, two. Two zeros. So what's yes. the difference of zeros? How many zeros more between the value of the first and the value of the second? This is, uh, yes? The first has three zeros and the second has yes. two zeros. The difference is only one zero, right? Yes. And one zero yes. means ten or hundred or thousand. One zero. Uh, one zero? Yes. It means... Uh, ten. One zero means ten, yes. Great. Thank you, Ibrahim. So the answer, guys, should be 7,000 for the first one and 700 for the second one. And the answer of the, this part, what is the relationship? This is the relationship. Please meet your mic. Ahmed? Ahmed Sirheed, meet your mic. Thank you. And to answer this question, what is the relationship between the values of the given digits, the values of the, the two sevens, the relation is that the value of the first seven is 10 times as greater as the value of the second seven because we have one zero only more in the first one. <coughs> okay, guys, let's move to question number four. And in this one, I want Raken to help me. Raken, are you here? Raken, Tamim Anwar. What? This is Tamim or Raken? Raken. Okay, Raken. 
Okay, guys, Tamim is not here. So, Rakim, the fours, the fours, we are going to do the same. In this one, the first four is, do you know the value of the first four and the second four? Yes. The first one is? Four. Yes? This is four. It's in the hundred thousand. Let's count. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. So the first one is in hundred thousands. So the value will be four hundred thousand. Great. And of course, hundred thousand worth how many zeros? It's hundred thousand. So hundred. What? what? Hundred thousand worth how many zeros? Hundred is two zeros and thousand is three zeros. Five. So it's five zeros. Great. And the second four, its value is? What? The second four. What is the value of the second four? It's in the ten thousands. So? The value should be? For 10,000. No, when you say for 10, you should say 40. So it's oh. 40,000. Okay? 40,000. Great. 000. How many zeros? For 10, one zero, and 4,000, four three. So the total is four. The first four. is five, and the second is four. So the first is how many times greater as greater as the second? The first five zeros, the second four zeros. So it will be how many zeros more? Four. Four zeros? How many zeros no. more? Three. No. This one is five zeros and this one is four zeros. Which one? So it Which is one? only one zero. Which one? I'm asking about uh, how many zeros more in, the, in this one. So. The this first I'm one. Here. This is Tamim. Who is this? Say your name. Who is this? Ali. Ali? Ali what? Yeah. Ali Muhammad Saleh. Ali Muhammad Saleh? Okay, Ali, you will answer with me the next question, but after the, uh, after the quiz. Thank you, Ali. You can mute your mic again now. Okay, guys. Finish writing and thank you. Uh, thank you, Rakan. So it's 10 times as greater as the second one. The first is 10 times as greater as the second. Okay? Because we have here five zeros and here four zeros. Now, guys, I will send to you. I will send to you uh, quizzes. Yes, I will send it on uh, both the uh, chat, and yes, and WhatsApp. Okay, as you know, and of course you will you will get uh, the link of uh, the one that you can use. Okay, well, so the answer of number five is. 200 for the first two and 20 for the second two okay guys <coughs> Ali Al Ghafli Ali Al Ghafli okay Ali Saleh yes teacher yes I am Ali Al Ghafli okay Ali in the second one yes I am Okay, okay, Ali Saleh, please wait again. Oh. I'm sorry, Ali. Okay, uh, Ali Al-Ghafli. The yes. first five what is the value of the first five and the second five. The first one is the value. Yes. yes? Uh, the, the, uh, uh, it's in 50. Yes, great. 50. No, 50,000. I, I didn't ask you to read the, the, the number. I asked you to 
give me the value of the first five and the second five. The value of the first one is 50,000. And the second one is 5,000. Great. So, 5, so it's 50,000 and 5,000. Thank you, Ali. Uh, let's move to Ali Saleh. Ali Saleh. Every time you are late, I will pick another one. Quickly. I'm here. Yes, I'm Ali. here. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. And this one, what's the value of the first four and the second four? In this number. The first four is... It's... Four... Uh, yes. Four thousand. Great. It's four thousand. What about the second one? Four hundred. Great. Excellent. So the value of the first one is 4,000 and the second one 400. Thank you, Ali. And Al Hussein, Al Hussein Nabil Al Hilal, Al Hussein. Teacher, I will go to the bathroom. Okay, you can go, Abdullah. Al Hussein, Abdullah, mute your mic. Thank you. Al Hussein, you are not here? Yes. Yes, Al Hussein, this one. The value of this eight and this eight. Yes? Speak up. It hundred thousand for yes. And the second one eighty thousand. Okay, great. So the first one eight hundred thousand. So guys, hundred two zeros and thousand three zeros. And the second one, it's 80,000. So 80 means 10,000. So 10 is 1 and 1,000 is 3 zeros. Okay, the next question, Muhammad Ala. Muhammad Ala. Okay, Muhammad, the nines in this number, the first nine. Uh, the first nine is thousand. Great, so it will be nine thousand, right? Yeah. And the and the, the other one? It will be one. So its value, what is its value? Nine thousand uh, uh, and nine. So the first one, nine thousand, and the second one is nine. As you can see, the first is one thousand times greater than the second. We have difference three zeros in here. Thank you, Muhammad. You are great. Nader, Nader Al Abdul Muhsin. Yes, teacher. Yes, Nader. In this question, question number ten, the sevens. We have three sevens. Can you, can, can you see yeah. with me? <laughs> Let's take them yeah. from the left. The first one. Seven thousand. The second. Seven And the third. Seven. Great. Thank you, man. <laughs> Haytham, Haytham Al Majid, Muhammad Zaki, Al Shaks, Malik Tamir. Yes. This is Malik. Yes, I'm in the. I'm in the. Yes, we start. Yes, this is Malik. Yes. Okay, Malik. The three is in this number. The three is. In, uh, the first one in, 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 the in 31. Yes, in this number. The first one is in 10,000. So it will be, yes, 30. What? 30,000. And the 30, second will be 30. Great. Uh, okay, thank you. And uh, Danielle? I'm Muhammad Zaki. Muhammad Zaki is here. Okay, Muhammad Zaki. The yes. first six. Yes. And Daniel will tell you the second one. Muhammad, the first but one is. Six thousand. What about the first, uh, the second one, Daniel? Six, uh, ten, six, six tens. It will be sixty. Not six tens. It's just like that. So it's sixty. So the values are 660, okay? That's the end of our session.
Thank you guys. See you tomorrow inshallah. Goodbye.